I was trying to bring a part of the physical world to the digital world. But the most interesting thing about this particular technology is that you can carry your digital world with you wherever you go with you. You can start using any surface, any wall around you as an interface. The camera is actually tracking all your gestures, whatever you are doing with your hands, it's understanding that gesture. But I'm more excited that you can actually take it outside. Rather than getting your camera out of your pocket, you can just do the gesture of taking a photo, and it takes photo for you. Right? Thank you. And later, I can find a wall, any, anywhere a wall, and start browsing these photos. Or maybe, OK, I want to modify this photo a little bit and send it as an email to a friend. So, so we are looking for an, an era where computing will actually merge with the physical world. And of course, if you don't have any surface, you can start using your palm for simply operation. I'm here, I'm dialing a phone number just using my hand. Yep. The camera is actually not only understanding your hand movements, but interestingly, it's also able to understand what objects you are holding in your hand. What we are doing here is actually, for example, in this case, the book cover is matched with so many thousands of, or maybe millions of books online and checking out which book it is. Once it has that information, it finds out more reviews about that, or maybe uh, New York Times had a sound over you on that, so you can actually hear on a physical book as a review Churchill of a sound. Gave a famous talk at so as a last thought, I think that integrating information to our everyday objects will not only help us to get rid of the digital divide, the gap between these two worlds, but will also help us in some way to stay human. To, to be more connected to our physical world. And it will actually help us not end up being machines sitting in front of another machines. So that's all. Thank you.